Friends and family come together to honor the life of an innocent bystander killed during a shootout outside a Detroit restaurant. Police say a group of people shooting at each other Saturday night. One of the bullets hit and killed Alexandria Johnson. It tops our news at 11. I'm Devin Scalia. I'm Kimberly Gill. Alexandria was inside the Sloppy Chops restaurant in Detroit when the gunfire started. Tonight, the community gathered outside the restaurant to honor her life. Pamela Osborne was at tonight's vigil. She's live with the latest. This is absolutely heartbreaking. It certainly is. Alexandria was working her job, a job that she really loved with people that she really cared about when she was so senselessly killed. It's not lost on me that at the same time they held this vigil for Alexandria, there were city leaders who were gathered together to talk about the issue of gun violence. But here's what we do know. Alex was cherished. She was loved and an entire community of people are hurting because she's gone. Whites and silver balloons released into the sky above heavy hearts below. Thank you for today. Thank you for the planners. Thank you for thinking about us, thinking about Alex, because it helps to know that it's not just her family that's going to miss her and love her. Thank you. Thank you so much. In her grief, Charlotte Johnson expressed gratitude for all of the people who turned out to remember her daughter, Alexandria. We say thank you for her love. We say thank you for her friendship. We say thank you for her service, for her work, for what she means to all of us. Alex was working her job at the Sloppy Chops restaurant Friday night on West McNichols when a group outside got into a gunfight. A stray bullet made its way into the restaurant, hitting Alex. You could just be at the wrong place at the wrong time and not even make it home at night. And that's just the most out of control thought that you can have leaving out your house to think that you won't make it home. And no one should feel unsafe like that. Ashley Washington is fed up with the violence and heartbroken. It's a loss Rojanique Payne is still trying to process. Alex was the sweetest person that you would ever meet. She was so lovable. Tonight, they extended that love to each other in honor of the goodness and kindness Alex brought out in them in the time she was here. This is what she loved. She loved all her people, all her friends and families to be together. Funeral arrangements are still pending at this hour. We know that two other people were also injured in that shooting. They are expected to be okay. No word on any arrests. Reporting live tonight in Detroit, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. It's awful. Okay, Pamela, thank you.